City 2, Norwich 1. This is Alex on Blooming Rising TV outside the Etihad. I'm here with Mike. Three Hi. points at home. You happy points. with that? Yeah, yeah. I thought uh, Norwich set up well. They had two on each wing, didn't they? Cutting our, stopping us getting in behind and stuff. So they set up really strong. But Jerome was good for Norwich. He worked really hard. And I think we got out of jail, to be honest. But it was a cracking game. Cracking second half. Makes for good entertainment, doesn't it? I mean, you said we got out of jail. Were you expecting it to be that tight before no, the game? No, I was saying about four or five today. But they've played a lot of games, haven't they? They've played a lot of football. So I suppose these games you just get out with the three points, don't you? But we were fortunate, fortunate today, especially after Joe threw it in his own net, bless him. But, well, uh, forgive him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. He's a cracking keeper. But I just thought Norwich set up really well, so it was, it was always tough, and especially playing the games we played Europe, Carling Cup. You know, it was always going to be a tough game. De Bruyne looked shattered today, yeah. so he didn't have his best game. But fair, fair play to him. He looked knackered. So uh, really I mean, good game for me. It was the first time like, we missed David Silva. It yeah, was his kind of game. Yeah, just needed someone to get the foot on it, didn't it? Just get the foot on it, hold it up and look around a bit. And I suppose Bonnie's vision could be a bit better. There was a couple of chances there where he could have laid it in. But he worked, he worked hard. It's hard to have seen Bonnie work you know, in a game. But just a little bit of vision, I think. But three points and happy as Larry with that. But it was great entertainment in the last ten minutes. I'll tell you what, let's talk about the, uh, let's talk about the man of the match, Nicholas yeah, Otamendi. Yeah. Step yeah. aside, Pablo's have a letter. There's a new Argentinian hardman in town. Yeah, yeah, well, he's brilliant. Well, we said, uh, corner in the first half, we said Otamendi's due one. Yeah. Due one off a corner because he was, he was the leading scorer, wasn't he, on the, on, the, on the corners in Spanish football. So he, he was definitely due one. So when he went in second half, we were like, yeah, I told you so, I told you so, yeah. But no, he's really coming on. It's a bit good with Mangala not playing because I thought company Mangala really good, but Ottoman is stepping up to the plate and it's not took him long to get settled into the Premier League. It usually takes him a bit longer, so really good. Would you, given how well Otamendi's playing, would you start starting Mangala over Otamendi or leave him in the team? I think it's good to have the three. Well, I don't think he's one above the other. I think it's just good to be able to have the three and, you know, one's going to come in because Mangala's looking fantastic, you know. So having the three, company Mangala, Otamendi, and then obviously uh, Demichelis to come in, end of the game and tying it up. I think it's really good that we've got the three. I don't think there's anything between them. One last question, Mike. Prediction, severe game, severe away. What's your score? I think we'll, we'll do better away. I think we'll play more on the counter. If we play Fernando Fernandinho in that two again and play, you know, maybe Yaya up a bit, I think 3-1 City. I think we'll do better away. 3-1 City. You heard it here on Blooming Rising Stop TV. It. Subscribe on, below. City.